the crowd is really nice and uh, the lineup is awesome actually. Um, I really like the fact that they um, mixed up some really good uh, Dutch local uh, uh, artists uh, with uh, great uh, international names as well. Yeah, yesterday I spent like 80% of my time at the backstage in the woods and at the end um, Laurent Gagné was here at the main stage. That was brilliant. It is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Best yeah. festival I've ever been. I'm from The Hague myself, but uh, yeah, most of the stuff is basically happening in Amsterdam. That's where, yeah, I guess the, the most important clubs basically are, like the, you know, all those clubs, like Trou and stuff. And uh, yeah, where international people play. Of course, they also play in other cities in Holland, but yeah, because Amsterdam is the main focus city of Holland, uh, everything comes here. Like the, the big clubs are interested in, in kind of weirder music or something. It's not just a uh, happy uh, deep house and stuff like that. Like a club like Trau books a lot of interesting artists too. And um, yeah, so, but it's, it's, there's also other cities, of course, where stuff is happening, like The Hague and Rotterdam. Uh, it, it's not that much now anymore, but like definitely in the 90s, because there probably wasn't internet, of course, and uh, even the close-by cities in Holland had their own sound. Uh, the Hague had its own sound, Rotterdam definitely, with the Gubber House, of course, and Amsterdam was like, uh, what was it called, Fred, uh, Fresh Fruit Records? Not Fred Fruit, but Fresh Fruit. And yeah, that was called Mellow, like the club sound that came from Amsterdam and uh, Rotterdam was hard. And The Hague was like just freaked out, like underground techno, weird and electro. And <clears throat> so, but now it's all more, uh, more merging, you know? Yeah, that's just evolution, I guess, of uh, music. It's uh, very interesting to see uh, that it's picked up so much, that that influenced uh, something in America and then in America it's and then it gets picked up by uh, the, all the underground uh, dance magazines like Fact Magazine. Uh, my own life set uh, now is uh, sometimes I still use hardware but uh, yeah it's, it's pretty impossible sometimes in certain clubs uh, but yeah it, it's most of the time I use the laptop with uh, two controllers Cork MS20 uh, thing and uh, the, the launch pad and yeah you, you can basically play more live with with a with a laptop actually than with hardware because I used to play with a MPC 2000 for example and basically that was really boring because all I did in the MPC 2000 was select patterns and then yeah mute tracks and then uh, yeah maybe twiddle a filter you know uh, that gets really boring after a while and um, with a certain uh, German software program on a laptop you can do a lot more freakier live stuff uh, basically. I guess the techno music is just have to have a kind of, um, yeah, we, we call it soul in the music and um, yeah, just make some interesting uh, uh, deep, deep stuff, you know, I mean because it's not just the beat, you know, techno. It's, that's the, the whole thing. That's what, what's kind of changing right now. But like, if you ask a kid, like, what is techno? It is to go and oosh, 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 oosh. And I, I was in Ibiza like um, last month and I saw somebody playing uh, Amnesia. I don't know what his name was, like Marco Carola or something. And it was so uninspired. It was just like, flabby, lexating, uh, <laughs> there was no spice in it like techno used to be or sometimes still is, you know, with like uh, great melodies and deep space pads and heavy bass lines and uh, really like crazy drum breaks, you know, and uh, weird experimental stuff, you know, that blows your mind. 